Everybody in California smokes weed now. They sleep a lot. <laughs> gets less. And, you know, that's what they did with the lottery when they uh, implemented the lottery. Well, sure, they give $10 million to the schools every year from the lottery, but then since they got an extra $10 million, they give them $10 million less in their budget, so they keep the money. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the same way up here. They're all set up like that. It's a mafia inside of a mafia, you know? M4, that's just lip service is what it is. Oh yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Most of the time, there's the people that are pushing for things have got some financial interest in things being that way, you know? They're trying to legislate business. Yeah, they definitely have an agenda. I don't know how some people sleep at night, but I sleep just fine. Well, that's why I don't sell cars and I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head there. Yes, yeah, for sure. I couldn't do either. <laughs> Uh, I, you can't be a good lawyer if you don't lie, and you can't be a good car salesman if you don't lie. Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. It took me a while, but I finally learned it. That, uh, all, you know, nothing but the gospel, nothing but the gospel. This is that. This is the best car you can get your hands off, low miles and all that. And for, yeah, it's just, I, I just can't do that. I, I can sell cars if I was the guy that says, okay, you got that much? Okay, you should get one of these. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they do, exactly that. Find out how much you want to spend on them. And, well, for another couple thousand, which only last year, probably six or seven more months payments, you can have this one over here, you know. Of course, they get a little better cut that way, I guess. And four. But that's business. That's okay. But Uncle Sam's not supposed to be, I should say, the legislature and the stuff they try to pass is being pushed through by their friends. It shouldn't be that way. Well, yeah, I, I, I think it was that way for a while, but... They got kind of lost there after the 20th century took off in the 1900s there. They had a totally different agenda. 50s and 60s. These weren't too bad. These weren't too bad, but they were getting... Sometimes I gotta push a lot of the buttons. Right, right. Well, that's nothing, uh, nothing pending on this end. Uh, no, uh, there's nothing pending on this end. Well, however long it takes, you know. I don't know. I must be getting kind of funny, funny in my older age, you know. In my 20s and 
mid-30s, man, they, they just couldn't stop me. Uh, if I didn't get something done twice as fast as the next guy, I thought it was failing, you know. Yeah, it's in four. But yeah, I agree with you that uh, I was born in 54, so then the military tail end of Nam. And yeah, there was a whole, you know, people had respect. I mean, you still had freedom of speech. You could still tell somebody to go jump in a lake or fuck off. But now they've carried freedom of speech to the point of slander and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all for it. You know, we have a dish, that, I won't say which dish, dish company here, but I'm about ready to call them up and tell them I only need about three or four of these channels. But I gotta pay for the whole bottle of wine. keep, you know, it's just like the city electric bill. Oh, the electric bill hasn't gone up, but now you pay this tax, that tax, you pay this usage, this for that, you know. And yeah, it's uh, my, my water and the taxes are usually about as much as the electricity. Yeah, yeah, I remember those days. In fact, I think we got something in common. I was born in July of this. I was born in September, so you're an old fart. Yeah, yeah, no kidding, man. You young kids, I'll tell you, it's hard to keep up with you guys nowadays. <laughs> 4 but yeah, my kids are 25, 26, and yeah, they've never known anything but what's been going on in the last 20 years, and I'm sorry, that's not the real world. That's the world going to hell, and it's going <laughs> to... It needs to get fixed and get back where it was. Yeah. I know back in the 70s there, I... I didn't have any trouble getting a job. It's nothing that I'm bragging about or nothing, but... People needed people. There was a lot more manufacturing up here, and, uh... Companies weren't taking off leaving the country and vice versa. I mean, it was, it was a strong economy and everything. And they just couldn't get enough people at times, you know? I'm just, you know, I just thank God we made it this far. Jeez, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> if I was uh, 25 years younger, I'd, I'd probably be uh, in a world of hurt, you know? Just that, because of that age gap and the, the way things have changed. I kind of, you know, got in and got out at the right time. <laughs> but, yeah, it sure changed. You're right, you know, kids used to be able, you know, it was no big deal to start working for a buck and a quarter because after, you know, six weeks, you got up to buck 75 minimum wage. And you were a kid and you were learning. And when you turned 18, yeah, you went and got a real job where you'd get 3 or $4 an hour or $5 an hour. But now, you know, even like I was a paper boy. I, from, geez, from age, well, I think 12, 12 to 15, I was a paper boy. And uh, they don't have them anymore. They've replaced all the local paper boys where you knew the kid and the, he lived on the route and everything else and he was close by and if you didn't get your paper you called him on the phone and he walked over and gave you another one you know but now you know they turned that into a job take 23 paper routes done by one guy with a truck <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I knew that. i seen that happen myself. Yeah, we got used to knowing the kids, and of course they're all growing up now and stuff on their bicycles and stuff. I dappled in a little of that when I was uh, that age, too, but you know, went on to different things. But 